Okay, I forgot that wasn't plugged in. My bad. Um, welcome back, everyone, to Persona 5 Royal. This is stream number 60. Okay, stream number 60 at this point. I just wanted to make sure I I was connected, so. When we last left off, um, we decided to try to spy in on um, Makoto's sister, Sai, and her investigation with the black with um these metal top downs which we have connected to the black mask person has been going around the metaverse and into these palaces as well so um and now we're just basically trying to figure out what to do next we also got a trip to hawaii that we gotta go to Just try to act normal that kind of thing um, it's evening. I don't think I can do anything unless I knew. So, um... I'm trying to think of what to do here. Hey. Can I go out? Hey. Oh, yeah. I... Hey. I, I last was in my meadows. So, yeah, I gotta get the massage. So now I can go out. <laughs> okay. Um. I should probably check on, um... Why? If I can probably listen, something crazy. Yeah. Okay. So let's switch to that, so I can remember to do that. The hang. What's up? I got a call from Desada. I want to tell you details. You got some time? Good. Good. Come to the back. Actually. Hey, you're you're exactly the person I was hoping to talk to. Desada rang me up a while back, told me to forget everything he was threatening me with. I honestly thought it was some kind of joke at first, but I ain't seen or heard from him since. Hmm. You know, it almost felt like I was talking to the old Desada somehow, my sworn brother. Hey, you think a guy can really go through a drastic change that quick? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? I ain't really one to talk, but you should re probably think about taking this a little more seriously, kid. Anyway, something fishy's still going down, but Tata's changing is a real bad, real load off my shoulders. That's right. Oh, and this probably means our deal through, our deal's through with, huh? I mean, your end of the bargain was driving to Tata away, and you did that and then some. One more thing. Yo. I kind of, I know I kind of fire you and all, but do you think you maybe want to keep working here with me? I understand kids these days have all sort of commitments, so I get it if the answer's got to be no. I guess I could consider it. <laughs> Don't give me that attitude. I know you want to come back. Don't go expecting me to make the job any easier for you now you're here. I'll be counting on you, kid. I mean, uh, Ren. Feels like my con with EY is growing even deeper. And he's probably going to figure out that I might be connected to the fam thieves. Hanged. All right, first order business taking care, t taking out the trash. Come on, we gotta get rid of these prototypes. Dissemble them, wipe the prints off if we toss them though, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm not letting you leave until they're done. See ya. Hey, nice work today. Hey, what's going on? About Desada, let's keep an eye on him for a little while. Seems like he was on the level, but can't be too careful. Understood. Good, if anything bad happened, it'd be already be too late. 
I'm just going to hang back and run the store for a while, safer that way. And that means I'm going to teach you all you got to know about the business. Hope you're ready for it. Okay, I'm counting on you, Ren. That's wild. Fan themes have been so popular lately. What is the fan site? Ooh, they have new merch. Nice work, fan the fan thieves. thieves are amazing. I mean, even the harshest co TV commentators are praising them. A lot of celebrities are talking talking openly about the fan thieves. The fan thieves fight for the people. Anyone opposed to them is just behind the times. Just look at that Akechi kid. He's catching a ton of shit for what happened with Medjet. Justice can exist so long as the fan thieves do. Big talk for someone who can't even catch them. Even politicians are claiming the fan thieves are dangerous. They're all full of hot air, though. The fan thieves are totally surprising. Hey, Owen. Thank you for the lurk. The fan thieves are totally trustworthy. Mm. Looks like people are coming around to us. <clears throat> I don't get it. Everyone knows about the cover-up. It's not really a big deal anymore. You know what is a big deal? My gun about rank going up. Oh, I gotta figure out about that today. Gun about the super real? It's one of those... It's the one with the gun shaped controller, right? Everyone's talking about it. The player's so good. Arcane Century had it, has it. So does one Akihabara. Akihabara. You should give it a try sometime. I played against someone really good the other day. I couldn't land a single shot on them. All yep. oh, anyone talks about anymore is the fan thieves. I kind of miss when no one knew who we were. Okay, to Akibara, if I can find it. Maybe. Okay, there we are. Look to town. Okay. Find the... I am going to... Take your time. Let's see. Nothing. Oh, I can go in here. There's a blue card. Game Center in Akibara. Who is... Oh, that must be King. Who's that kid? He's amazing. That's the King. Oh, I heard about him. He's just a little guy, huh? Must be still in grade school. He's still wielding? Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself, and it's still too easy for him. Phew. Well, I guess that's that. What a monster. The king may have some tips on how to defeat the cheater. I should negotiate with him. What do you want? Uh, okay, there he is. Teach me some tricks. Nah, sounds like too much work. Don't take it personal. I turn everyone down. Later. There's an invincible player. Invincible, huh? You mean that guy who cheats, right? It really makes me mad when he does that. Care. But I can still beat him, so I don't really care. I just forget about him. He's bothering someone. Uh -huh. You sound like the fan thieves. So you're saying you want to beat the cheater? You seem like a nice guy, but... Just let it go. The fan thieves are really cool, aren't they? Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? I saw their first success. <laughs> oh, you mean a Sujin Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But, um, teaching you how to play Gunabout won't be easy. I won't get anything out of it. Let's make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know. How about this? I want to get to know the fan thieves. It's probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. Well, what do you say? Is it a deal? Let's do it. Whoa, seriously? Well, if you really want to...
to you that much, then I thought for sure you were just going to give up. Wow, I didn't see this coming. But the band thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? What's your name? Huh? You're going to tell them my name? My name's Shinya Oda. Tell the fan thieves my name and I'll have them posted somewhere only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough to, as an autograph and prove that they know my name. So I probably need to talk to Mishima. <laughs> Proof that you really know the fan thieves, huh? We need someone cre to be credible for this kid to believe us. Then Futaba says he hacked and gun about servers or something? Let's discuss this with Futaba. He might have a good idea. I mean, Futaba. Ooh. going to. I want a condition. He wants us to introduce him to the fan thieves. We can't give ourselves away, though. That's where you come in. Maybe you could hack into the gun about the server or, and do something. But we're going to be able to get in touch with him that way. We could s leave evidence of your hacking. That'd be easy, but is this really... But is he really going to believe that? Hmm, okay. I'll write a calling card saying that we're going to steal the gu gun about homepage. After that, you need to leave evidence that the fan thieves hacked into it. The king will will have no choice but to believe, but to believe it was really us. Oh, this sounds like fun. I'll put our logo smack dab at the top of the front page. Perfect. We'll go see the king. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him. So wait for our word to start the hacking. All right. All right you can count on me. Uh, back to Akiharba, Aki, Akihabara Arcade. Fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask for to do the hacking? I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. It'll be fine. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm hacking in now. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Okay, that. I I generally have no problem with um having women voice little like 10, 11 year old kids, but this doesn't sound the right, right the right voice. <laughs> Calling card? Huh? Ma no, what? Ah, there's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh. Is is this for real? I mean, you can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official gun about website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site, just like they did on Midget's site. Which means you were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves. No way. How'd you do it? Through a secret exchange. Oh, that's so cool. So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you. But you're actually pretty cool. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your... Oh, you are. So I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Uh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You got yes. to on your second shot. <laughs> He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. His instructions are precise, but also Spartan-like. The king's swearing up a storm today. Uh, that's what happens when he teams up with another player. 
And why everyone also watches him from a distance. <laughs> All right, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves too. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal. I made a deal with Shinya. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just realized this is gonna be funny when he, when he finds out. You're talking about a little kid help you learn how to shoot. <laughs> According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of Freaking captivity. sweet! With the birth of the tower persona, I have obtained the wit. Downside, let you knock down an enemy with special shot once, pure infiltration. All right. Ooh, nice. It's earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. I'm so glad I caught you. Hey, we should exchange IDs. It's not like I'm here every day, so. Call me when it's game time. Well, it looks like we got a real gamer over here. There, got it. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you in Gunabout. Bye. See you later, Amamiya. I mentioned you guys are going on a school trip later this week. I'm not giving you any money, okay? Oh, don't worry, I have nearly over 2 million yen! Although it's probably burned through like 200 of it. <laughs> 200,000 of it. And don't worry about giving me a souvenir or anything like that. Okay! Welp, I don't want to do oh yeah. <laughs> if I can do Sojuro, I can do Sojuro. Help him out. All right then. Hmm. Futaba, what's wrong? It's not like you to come here this late. Mm -hmm. Look, Sojuro. Uncle's bank info, transacting history. Oh my God, Futaba, what? <laughs> I got a ton of dirt on him. How would you get your hand on this stuff? <laughs> Hacking, of course! <laughs> Uncle's in loads of debt. He'll never win a suit against us now that we have all this data. This is a criminal offense, you idiot! There's no way we would be able to use his stuff in court. But... Jeez. I've known all along how badly in debt he is. He's not going to try and take custody back, so don't go doing stupid crap like this, okay? But Sojuro... I, I, I only did it because of all the stuff he said to you. About that, I've been thinking. When Post came to shove, I wasn't there to help you. So you know, maybe there's something better, somewhere better for you out there. S somewhere better? Am I not supposed to be here? Am I just in the way? No, that's not it. You don't want me either, Sojuro? That's not what I meant. I just think it might be better for your own sake. Fine, I still have Ren and Mona and all the others. You can just stay here and play with your stupid coffee beans. <sighs> she likes you guys way more than she likes me. Makes sense though, you're the ones who saved her after all. Where did I go wrong? 
I really did try to take care of Futaba. Look where that got me, though. I told myself she was the reason he kept... I kept making Wakaba's curry here. But deep down, I think that was just an excuse to stay distant. At the end of the day, the coffee and the curry people love... S people love so much are both just excuses. Okay. Uh, you might be right. Yeah, I mean, I spent more time in this cafe than I ever did trying to talk to Futaba. I'm gonna go out for a smoke, try to cool off a bit. Sorry to lay this on you, but can you go after Futaba for me? I have to head upstairs. Ren? Do you want to talk? Yeah, thanks. You know, Mom used to talk about Sojiro tons when I was little. How good he was at making curry, how interesting he was to talk to. I remember everything. I remember. I even remember how she smiled when, he, when she talked about him. Mom really likes Sojiro. It's just some real mean stuff tonight. It's not his fault Mom's incident happened. It's not his fault I set myself away from the world. Because of me, Sojiro lost a crap ton of money. I just thought I'd be able to stay here with him and my hacking worked. Let's talk to him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Utaba, um, can I come in? Mm-hmm. Sojiro, I... Look, I'm sorry about what I said just now. Well, if it's okay with you, I want you to stay here forever. Forever. I know it might be more fun living with people your age like Ren, but I'll do my damnedest to see things from your perspective. So, will you stay with me? Ah! I can't do the ha <laughs> part. Was that supposed to be some kind of proposal? <laughs> hey, quit your laughing. You're exhausting. You're as exhausting as ever. Hey, Sojiro. I know it caused you a lot of trouble, but I really do want to be here. So let's keep living together. Futaba? Sorry for not saying that sooner. Oh, and thanks for taking in someone as horrible as me. Are you sure I'm good enough? I wonder what anyone else. Hey, no hesitation. Don't come complaining to me if you regret it. Actually, I'm not going to let you regret it. If you ever need help, just tell me. I might not be graceful, but I'll be there to protect you. And you can stay with me for as long as you'd like, forever if you want. Mm -hmm, I will. Forever. <laughs> I can't wait to keep sort of living with you too, Ren. Ah, it's almost time for the live stream. The director's going to be on this week. I'm out of here. Bye. I was such a fool. My whole life, I've taken the easy way out to avoid these kind of conflicts. Sorry. Okay. I noticed I was chewing a little bit of ice. My bad. Okay. I didn't stand up for Fukaba when I knew something was off, and I didn't stand up for you either. Instead, I went on and on about how you can't fight back against the laws of our society. How you should just accept the hand you're dealt, you're dealt in life. But those were mere excuses I made to keep myself in line. They gave me the easy way out I wanted so badly. Maybe instead of all the coffee crap, I should have been teaching you not to make the same mistakes I did. There I go. <clears throat> Ranting again, but I feel like I managed to put a lot behind me today. Thanks for making me realize what's really important in life. Rank seven. I'm going home. All right, I better head home too. Don't stay up too late, okay? I don't want you oversleeping. Hey, you good to talk? 
I talked to F- talked to Futaba again after that. I don't know how it took me so long when we've been so close, but I finally had an honest conversation with her. How do I say this? It feels like we're win- we're we're family, now. real family now, not just pretending to be one. That's only because you helped us connect. So thanks for that. I feel feel like a real dad now. Real dad, huh? Sounds corny as hell, but I can't deny it. <laughs> Hey, what am I doing? Calling some guy up and rambling about my feelings. Eh, hey, you're... I guess you're not exactly an ordinary guy yourself. Alright, I'm hanging up while I still got some dignity. See you tomorrow. <sighs> and I got the trip tomorrow. I wonder how much longer this heat will continue. It's exhausting. You know the rankings that are popular nowadays. Are you interested in them too? Not at all. You're not interested. Are you the type to go against the trend? Did you know my name is listed too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval of the group. Before I knew it, I'd turned into a bona fide villain. Still. I thought that if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. You should check out the list sometime. Well, talking anymore will make us late. See you later. Check out this fam sieve chocolate wafer. I saw it in Sibuya and can't help myself. Some sticker, right? There's so much fam thieves merchandise all the time. Although, if you ask me, fam thieves isn't a very cool name. I don't know. I like it. It's so mysterious. Think it's a bad idea to post my own name to the fan site to get a change of heart? I just want to meet the fam thieves. I'm gonna feel so freaking. Oh. Okay, let's get started. School trips tomorrow, huh? I always got so excited the night before my trips. You leave tomorrow, right? I'll. T- it'll take some or six or seven hours to get to Hawaii, so it'll be morning when you lo- when you arrive. Oh yeah, watch out for that jet lag. Twice time, it's 19 hours behind Japan's time zone, so which means you get there on the morning or morning of the seventh. You're leaving at night, but arriving on the morning of the seventh, that might be quite a shock to your systems. Jet lag is one thing, but our perception of time and cell can be distorted sometimes. Have you ever looked at your watch and felt like the second hand stopped for, for longer than a second? Say, Mami Akun. You know the theme of that phenomenon where your second hand looks like it stopped moving? Chronostasis. This is it. Right. Yeah, that's correct. When a person changes their viewpoint, there's a moment of time that goes unaccounted for in their mind. In order to fill that blank, that the brain experiences a fictional moment. That's where this phenomenon comes from. The human brain really is incredible, right? It can make you feel like time has stopped. Nice going. Yeah. Oh, but my time's already up. I want to hear all your stories when you get back, okay? Have fun. You're going to Hawaii tomorrow, huh? And don't worry about the house. I'll, well, me and Fatapa can hold down the fort. Oh, yeah, this time tomorrow, we're going to be in Hawaii. I can't wait. It should be fun. I'm so pumped. Ryuji, you know you're not leaving until tomorrow night, right? Wait, for real? Enough of your chit-chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't care about that About that after I just heard. I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Well, time to research sightseeing spots in Hawaii. You got over that pretty damn fast. Oh yeah, are there any famous places in Los Angeles? Hollywood? Well, it has a vibe and art scene as well. I expect the trip to be quite stimulating. That don't hold a can of Hawaii's beaches, though. There are a multitude of fabulous beaches near Los Angeles as well, you know. Huh? It's close to the ocean. You know where... Do you know where L.A. is? Well, it's the capital... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my 
god! <laughs> well, it's the capital of America, so in the middle somewhere? Why about Hawaii? I don't know. Samosan, I guess? You're hopeless. How long are you going to keep this up? Come on, you guys could be more mature about this. <laughs> I'm doing good. I know you guys are excited for the trip, but you're getting a little carried away. Okay. Who can I talk to? How are you, Owen? I hope I can actually talk to Maruki. If not, I think... I think I suspect why I can't. <laughs> Welcome. Ah, yes. I'm sorry. I have to max... I think I have to max out, um... What's her face? I cannot remember her name. <laughs> um, okay. Check the confidants. That's not it. Uh... Okay, I need to check but it doesn't look like I can talk to her. I have to max her out, I just, which means that might not be good in trying to unlock everything. So I got to keep a note on how far I am. Go G to darts and billiards. Welcome. What do you play? Hmm. What do you want to do? Thank you. Should do it for now. Skip through that. We're parting ways tomorrow. I pray both trips go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Yusuke. And Futaba will be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me. Let us know if anything comes up, okay? A okay. Then off we go. Look after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. You guys are still talking about that trip? <sighs> well, I'm going on a trip. Kind of some bummed out that he's not going. You're taking off, huh? Don't go cutting loose just because I'm not there. To get <laughs> yes, exactly. Morgana sad. I'll look after Futaba and the cat. Are you gone? You owe me that. Oh, we'll next job once you get back. I can't wait. Good. Oh, God. He's really mad, actually. I'm so sleepy. 
It'll take over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Is it just me, or is Ryuji not here yet? <laughs> <laughs> there he is! I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. Uh, coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? <sighs> Oof, indeed. You're underpacked. Really? You guys are just freaking out over this. Well, I guess it's better than bringing too many useless things. Hey guys, they want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Oof, sounds good. You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in too. You too, Makoto. <laughs> All right. Here it goes. Uh huh? Uh, where am I supposed to look? Let me see. Let me see. Gucci, you got crap in your eyes. What? Holy shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? You surprised? I snuck an app on Rent's phone. I can see all I want through his camera. You're looking. You're looking now, right, Ren? <laughs> you can't underestimate the original Medjad. Talk about a nasty trick. Thank you for using my emo, by the way. I'm so glad she's not an enemy of ours. Fortunately, it's not going to show up on the <laughs> YouTube. Bot, but oh well. <laughs> I'm watching you take a shit. I am watching you from a camera. <laughs> Okay, I love those eye the the sleep mask um um he had Mishima had. Ladies and gentlemen, we've begun our initial descent into Hawaii. We ask that you please return to your seats and ensure that your seatbelts are safe. Whoa! You sleep the whole time and just scream Whoa! So, how long will you be staying? I'm so excited! <laughs> I have no idea, though! <laughs> That's also oh, typically hi. Ryuji. I love it! The tropical air! Hi! Aloha! You can find your buses Whoa. that way. Damn! You speak Japanese? <laughs> Whoa! I see it! The diamond thing! The oh, diamond yeah. thing! The ocean is so blue! <laughs> Whoa! That's gonna be a, a repeated gag now. Whoa! <laughs> he is absolutely re rowing so hard. Ryuji is. Is this the smell of Hawaii? Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? <sighs> Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Plus, <laughs> I can see the scent of the delays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. <laughs> what are you, the king of random facts? <laughs> I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Then uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our Whoa! <laughs> I want a room with this guy. Whoa, room assignments! To a different class, Whoa, the teacher! It complicates roll call. <laughs> Everyone butts you out after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Shut up. We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? 
And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Oh, come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? That's fine. It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. <laughs> yeah, especially you where you see something whoa all the time. So this is Waikiki. Well, there sure are a ton of people here. And a lot of tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought On was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Nah. Oh my god! <laughs> you think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies are massive unlike the girls in Japan. <laughs> oh my god, which one is not gonna get me shot? <laughs> or slapped. Um, I'm not interested. They're not my type. You like him slim, huh? Ha <laughs> bog indeed. Moving on. Take a look over there. Bruzy definitely needs to get bonked here. I think I got the name for oh, this part. From the bus too. Okay, I want to change this. <laughs> Ryuji goes to Horny Jail Edition! But why is it Again! Going? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? The F? Huh, interesting. Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki, too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any Come and tell recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants, then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like, God, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's Hawaii-like? <laughs> uh, hula dancing? Uh-uh, I ain't down for that. I just realized I have my ads off. Finally, take a breather. There we go. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site rankings started, right? Yeah. It's been really lively, huh? I'm the one who made the website. <laughs> Even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good-looking one. His popularity plummeted after Medjed was dealt with. Really? Supposedly his official blog's up in flames. He posed as some hero of justice, but that's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. <sighs> To be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? Yeah. You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired too. Ah, let's go to bed. Good night. Oh, 
Oh wow, went up again to 69. Man, it's nothing but Japanese people around here. I thought we were gonna be getting alohas coming from all directions and stuff. It costs money to enjoy that atmosphere, you know? There's not much we can do as students. I guess it's the same no matter where we go. Hey, what's with the low energy, Makoto? I just had to listen to the taxi driver complain for 30 minutes straight. I'm used to dealing with students' troubles, but I never expected to have to do it overseas as well. <laughs> that That's funny. We should be doing some more exciting stuff. I mean, we're in freaking Hawaii, for God's sake. Isn't the school supposed to plan stuff? I want to go diving! It seems there wasn't enough time to come up with any kind of coordinated travel plan. That lack of coordination is what led to them using students as chaperones as well. By the way, you're rooming with Mishima, right? How is it? Anything interesting? All fan site all the time. Even in Hawaii? Fan site? You know, I do hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves every so often. Are they really mentioning us? I think so. We've already made our international debut. Man, just talking about that makes me want to go back to Japan so bad. You really have no chill. Come on, let's try and forget about those things for now. But people are waiting for us to fix society. Whoa, we wait, Yusuke? We to be relaxing over here. Ain't that right, Yusuke? Wait, what the hell? Yeah, exactly. Overseas travel provides a great opportunity for new insight. I'd prefer we stay here a bit longer. What are you doing here? <laughs> he just like casually the walked up, dude. To that's the best to part. <laughs> Apparently, they couldn't land the plane due to a terrible storm brewing on the west coast. There were no signs of it letting up, so our destination was changed on the spot to Hawaii. I feel like I would do that to my friends. Wherever you go, it's like casually walk up when I'm not supposed to be there. <laughs> Don't go bringing any storms here. You got that? I'll do my best. And by the way, there's nothing planned after this. What are you all going to do? Uh, oh yeah, I, I still got to buy souvenirs. My mom asked me to grab some stuff for her. I totally forgot about that. We need to pick things up for Futaba and Morgana, too. I was hoping to do some shopping myself. Then it's settled. I wonder what Morgana would want. Man, our group's totally the same even out of Japan. <laughs> huh. I didn't realize Big Bang yeah. was in Hawaii, too. Yeah, it's been getting real popular in Japan lately. I guess they wanted to branch out. Whoa! <laughs> I read a news article recently about the success of Okuma. Oh my god, that's gonna become a meme. Oh, yes. That's so gonna become a meme the with me. That owns Big Bang Burger. Okumura? Ain't that the guy who's at the top of the fan site rankings? Oh, really? Is that true? Whoa! I guarantee it. I don't make mistakes about that kind of stuff. Sure you don't. <laughs> Do I hear sarcasm? Hmm? What's the matter? Well, it's probably nothing. Just a rumor I heard about Okumura Foods. Supposedly, all of their overseas competition has mysteriously pulled out. Never mind. I'm surely just overthinking things. Sis's habits seem to be rubbing off on me. Hey, why don't we take a pic together? You know, so we can remember the trip and all. Ooh, good idea! Just line up over there. Are you sure you don't want to be in it? <laughs> Thanks. I only ask that you ensure the composition is well balanced. Oh, can you not worry about that stuff for one second? Go for it. Smile. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, we still have some time to spare, right? Where to next? There's a convenience store down by the beach. How about there? That sounds lovely. I would quite like a short rest. All right, let's head over there. Huh. Don't you think Did the food you? around here is kind of salty? I forgot my sunscreen. I'm going to go buy another. Ah. Uh, you might be right. Hate when it oh, does that on me. I forgot my sunscreen. 
I'm going to go buy a Night, Owen. at the convenience store. Another bottle at the convenience store. Thank you for popping by. I'll go with you. See you hopefully on Thursday or Saturday. I need to wait for them to come back. And Friday, because I'm probably gonna play Fall Guys I'm on Friday. So if I feel up for it. By the way, you think we're the thieves everyone here has been going on about? It'd be pretty freaking crazy if that was true, huh? Gotta be. So crazy. Hmm. I had not heard of such rumors. It sounds wonderful. But we are already here, so why don't we confirm if that is the case? Oh, good idea. Let's try asking around while we wait for Ron and Makoto. Oh, dude. kind of cute maybe we should ask her some questions too look see she's from our class isn't she uh, free time is almost up she's Shouldn't gotta be if she has a soon? profile what do you mean you're a shujin student correct your blonde friend seemed very excited on the airplane coming here hey you're that girl we saw watering the plants sorry to surprise you I'm another third year who was asked to come chaperone this trip. I accepted the task to take my mind off of things, but I wasn't sure how to spend my free time. We're here! I think I should be going. See you. Sorry, were you waiting long? Hmm. That girl you were talking to just now, do you know her? No, that was my first interaction with her. She said she was a third year. Same as you, Makoto. Mm-hmm. I've never really spoken to her, though. Ah, it looks like our free time is over. Let's head back to the hotel. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I feel like such an idiot for getting psyched for this. <laughs> oh, and no. Again, we are on a trip, so... Excuse me, Miss Kawakami, about the post beach plans. Ah! Um, did I find you at a bedtime? Not at all. What's the matter? I thought there was going to be other kids with her. <laughs> found it. One after another, too. What did you find? Still working, can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Ooh, so much. All Got a feel for her. Morgana. I'm basically useless. Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me. Oh no. To say, just spit it out. It's nothing. What were you saying? Let me go. You feel so nice. I do not! So smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again. I'm a human! Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. It's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone. That's true. <sighs> I feel like something stupid is about to happen. And Morgana leaves. There are even more posts now. Oh, wow. The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly at the rankings. You're looking now? Come on. You can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs. That's how they have so many stores. Get that. That scared me. That actually scared me. Yo. Oh no. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. It felt totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Even though there are only two beds. Coming! 
Oh no. Takamaki? The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend. Hey, Croc. I know that Thank feeling. you for the lurk. And she took the I'm key. at the Hawaii I portion of the game. For just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the Medjet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. Oh, what should I do about overseas requests? Uh, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. They took down Medjet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? Mm. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty Excuse me. pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Are you serious? Don't worry, I trust you guys. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds, even if someone sleeps on the sofa. One of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor, so who's that gonna be? Gonna be you, Ryuji. Green cards. Why don't we use these to decide? They're all glaring at him, going. Yes. What? Ha! <laughs> I knew it. All the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? A school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the move down. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. Me? Uh, well, she's got to have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. So looks are what's most important to you. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. That ain't fair. What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? Wait, are you talking about her? Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. So, what kind of guy do you... So, what kind of guy do you... That doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article. Unnecessary information was leaked, after all. Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress. Interesting. Exactly. Yes. There's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, then. We'll make it so that it was a heart attack. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. Okay, who, who is the SIU director talking to? Matters if we deal with one or kind of concerned there. Connected to us. Very concerning. 71% now. <sighs> Our trip is almost over. By tomorrow night, we'll be in the airplane heading home. 
Damn it! This isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? We ended up walking around, same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate out of freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left! Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. But weren't some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit? I think... And that's it! That's <laughs> what this trip is missing! Come on, we told oh, we God. during our free time in the afternoon. What are we going to do? Make a once-in-a-lifetime summer memory! Hawaii's famous for its beaches, and, you know, what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. <laughs> we can get some girls' numbers during the day, and sneak away to them at night. <laughs> you in or what? Me too? It'll be great! Neither of us have girlfriends who get mad about it either. I guess it's true, but... What? Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with. No question about it. Ooh, you get a message? Who could that... Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you-know-what. Come on, Mishima, let's go. Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us, Sakamoto? Don't give me that look. We're going to Waikiki. Try and get a little more excited. And... Could that have been a fancy's message? I should check when no when there's nobody else around. I'd love to go for a walk on the beach. We're in Hawaii after all. I can finally take a break from my job too. If you don't have any plans, would you like to take a walk with me? She's here. Take a walk with Makoto. to ask you out here so suddenly being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected we've had a lot of meetings I honestly wanted to contact you earlier but this is the first free moment I've had you're doing great thank you all right then let's take a walk Oh, a food stand. Acrylic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? Yeah, sometimes. That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Well, let's give it a try. You two from Japan? Uh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I'll do just that. Amazing. How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. To tell you the truth, I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip. But if it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. It's been fun. I'd like you to have this. It's not the best souvenir, but it will remind you of the memories we made today. I love it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. I'm fine like this. I suppose I can't complain about that. It was terrible getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? Maybe. It's a different possibility. 
Yikes. I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but he might be too different from me. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Well... Anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, okay? Hey. We're still open for business. Get the cat upstairs. Aww. Sounds like anyone coming in anyway. Plus, if someone does come, you can just tell them it's a cat cafe. You know that line's not gonna work. Hmm. Rookie. Uh, hey. Excuse me. What did I tell you? Get the cat out of here. I'm sorry. Oh no, please. There's no need. I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait a second. I was told that um, Amamiya is lodging at a cafe. I just happened to be passing by, so... Uh -huh. ah, I see. You teach at this school t as a school, huh? Not really. I'm just a counselor. Well, in any case, I apologize for the cat. Normally, he stays upstairs. It's fine by me. I love animals. They don't seem to share the sentiment, though. Mm. What the heck is he doing here? Ren's off on his little trip. No clue, he's just some alien level stranger to me. Say. You talk with your cat? That's so neat. <laughs> Sorry, did I friend you? My apologies. I just found it impressive at all. <sighs> Sorry about the cold shoulder over there. Just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futaba, we'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. That book? Oh, this? It's on a subject called Cognitive Science, and Ooh, really? Any interests? <sighs> what? Your... I'm sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Huh? Huh? I'm so sorry if there was anything I... The cafe is now closed. I'll have to ask you to... Sotaro! I'm okay! He stays. What good is driving a few customers away you're gonna, gonna do you anyhow? Futaba. Uh -huh. so, 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 so that book, is it, is it what you teach, uh, sir, I mean, mister? Hmm. Huh, well, heh, no, not at all. I'm not a teacher. What's for then? Is this a personal interest of mine? I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study, too. It's fun? Yeah. Well, of course. It's a wonderful division of science that can help many people. That makes it pretty fun, right? <laughs> yep. Mom thought the exact same thing. Mom. Her mom studied it, too. Her mother studied it, it too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, are you a high school counselor? You are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make sense, being related to your field and all. Your mom thought that too, huh? She sounds like she, she sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah, my mom owned. She loved. My mom owned. She loved me so much. <sighs> Pat sense, huh? I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very she she be very proud. Come on, Mona, let's go. Off to Mendless Room. Hey, wait! Hey, what? Futaba! Sorry about that. Would you care for another? <laughs> Thank you. Your coffee is truly ama truly is amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Man. Things sure are changing around here. trip is finally coming to a close. I never thought I would have the chance to go on one this year as well. Barely even felt like I was out of the country, though. Even Yusuke showed up. I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. <laughs> it may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. <laughs> so, what did you end up doing yesterday? Keeping secrets from me? That's against the bro code. I'm not telling. I went to the beach. I was with someone. I went to the beach. What, by yourself? No way I'm gonna believe that. The desperation in your face is quite unbecoming, Ryuji. 
That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? Ooh, count me in. Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? <laughs> yeah, he's not good with money. What do you think Morgana and Futaba would like? The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine? If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? Look, they have coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? There's acai powder over here. Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I don't know what you mean. We've come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. Oh, well said. In that case, let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high. Yusuke, you find something? An hourglass that measures three minute increments. <laughs> uh, why? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? Oh crap, we're almost out of time. Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Something Morgana would like. I feel like someone's staring at me from behind. Hello. Senpai. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> That's a much more appropriate greeting. Aloha. Huh? Who's that? Find anything suitable? Hmm? That girl. Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast. Yes, that's right. Our club's here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Hey, uh... It's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say. What doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that, too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. They're great. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Well... I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. Considering the rank I got last time, though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. A good luck charm? I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. I should probably get going. 
I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later, all right? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the principal. Yeah, he, he's kind of with this group, and I think they're about to take him out. Yep! He's about to die! Fun. I'm glad I paid for your travel expenses then. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more complicated. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Remember to get you. Here's a graph of the profits. Keep yours, everyone. Handling these items. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise. <laughs> what about copyright? I don't think we need to worry about that. They'll get caught the second they try to sue. Not like I'd actually want to sell their stuff, though. I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi Kun? Well. There he is. The anti-thief detective. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However, no. I shouldn't say anymore. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude. What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis, you know, of the data. Wanna meet now? Seriously? <laughs> Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Fancy stamp, isn't it awesome? Who do you think the fan thieves will target next? Oh, I wonder. I'm really excited to f find out. I don't care who it is. Let's do it already. <sighs> hey, got a minute? You look sleepy. Attention, all you jet lagged. Someone from Chujin came to LeBlanc yesterday. What? Who? Uh, he had messy hair and glasses. I don't know. It just sounds like a wren to me. Oh, that's right. Maruki did stop by. The counselor? You mean Dr. Maruki? I think so. Dr. Maruki is the counselor. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field too? You don't think he's connected to the incident with Futaba's mother? Oh no, I didn't get that vibe from him. He seemed actually interested in cognitive science. It wasn't like he was just using it. He, too, 
You two got talking then. A little. He seemed nice. For a stranger to connect with Futaba is no easy feat. He must have been quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is a word for it, but yeah, he's cool. What, you want to get him to counsel you too? I see no point in having my heart probed by an utter stranger. Truth, man. Still, I am curious as to how he managed to negate Futaba's usual retinence. I don't know. We just talk normally. Maybe he's such a good listener, right? Maybe you ended up talking more than usual. It's so it's true. He does have some extraordinary effect. Certainly must have some greater insight, but the better SP the innermost troops with the heart. Holy shit! This dude has ESP, SP, or to see or perceive. Makoto, is there any way for you to, any way you could arrange for me to meet him? What me? You mean you want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel like there's something here I must confirm for, for myself. Well, I can't make anything happen instantly, but I'll see what I can do. But it's the things. I'm looking forward to finally meeting him. Okay. Let's look at it. Why? Yeah, I can only go to sleep, I guess. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Huh? Uh-oh. He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's uh, hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I, I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students after all I see could something have happened during the school trip oh you're studying I'm sorry to bother you Makoto hmm N never mind it's nothing just don't get dragged into trouble okay Better tell the others. <sighs> God, I'm so sleepy. You over your jet lag? Not yet. Still sluggish, huh? Well, same here, dude. Never mind that, though. Did you know about this? Fan are so popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're going to target next. Ain't that amazing? I'm getting really psyched. This is where we worked hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Good morning. Oh, morning. You're back today, too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Uh, may I join you on the way- join you two on the way to school? I want to talk about a bit more about the trip. I want to hear all about your stories from Hawaii. You got it. I should start with all the heroics that me and the dude did for the people in Hawaii. Yes. Um, yes, that sounds great. Huh? What about class? There's another urgent assembly. Is it true he died? He was really taking some heat. What's happening to the school? Are we cursed? This has to be 
you about you know what, right? With the principal. Um, we will now begin the emergency morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide room was for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing. Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. Are people gonna blame us for this too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students. And... <laughs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? It's true. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. Will you believe me now? I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. Yeah, I have a feeling Okumura would be our next baddie. The answer to those suspicions. When I first Tell heard me, about this. What did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... <clears throat> Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? 
First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. Huh. The corporation Okumura Foods, more prominently its CEO, Kunikazu. So he is connected to the main conspiracy at hand. Okay. I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. I already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings, after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's yeah. evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is unsettling. Yeah, the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. Oh, here we go. But I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time <sighs> target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was, she more, was useful more useful than you, as a matter of fact. fact. Hey, that's hey, inexcusable! inexcusable. I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Yeah, absolutely, Dub. What's gone into you? Uh, we're gonna wait! Definitely got a sense that something like this been, has been happening. It's been building up to this moment because you have been fighting with that cat. And actually, technically, we're gonna not a not a cat. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty. Uh oh. She was on the trip, too. I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated, either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves' doing. I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? 
I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I'm really messed up. Oh, he... alone? How horrible. <laughs> Does she get into the palace? How? Well, I guess they give anyone the app. That's clearly that's clearly Haru. Hey, have you seen Morgana? <laughs> I'm worried. Me too. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Morgana's still not back. Huh? He hasn't come back home yet? The food's still in his bowl. Do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be like the type who'd go off and die on us like that, though? He's just been one day, all worrying too much. He's probably just off doing his own stuff. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Oh, well. Have a good day. Yeah, they are, actually are. No one like the I know by that principal Steph was an accident. I think the fan thieves killed him. You think the fan thieves murdered him? Why? Think about coming to his victims. Principal is just as guilty for keeping quiet about it at all. The people who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumbag cleansing to purify the world. Well, that's a bit timely. <sighs> that's disappointing. Yesterday, my wife threw out one of the books without asking me. I, I had to read it like that. <laughs> yeah, come her way. And it was even signed. With logical management skills, he revived his company that was... Okay, on the verge of bankruptcy. <laughs> then he started Big Bang Burger, a bold and creative venture. But come with words, our philosophy on life itself. How could she sell that to a second-hand sop? But in times like these, one's mind... Switch gears is key. Wouldn't you agree, Mamiya? A second-hand shop is mostly meant for sales of goods and supporting charitable causes, you but what does a prawn shop offer that a second-hand shop doesn't? This Money loans it. for collateral. Very good. No okay. Oh gosh, no. I don't think I would like to have this guy run in the country. Hey, come straight home once school's over, okay? What's wrong? We're gonna wait together in case Morgana comes home. Anyway, come straight home. Well, what's up with Morgana though? He should just hurry and come back. Intruder. 
Oh! I guess Hyra has a... has a persona now. Mona's still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a club against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. You think that Mona charged in there by himself? It's possible. Yeah, he may not seem like it sometimes, but he totally is a capable cat when he wants to be. Either way, let's go to a Kimura's place palace tomorrow. I'll contact everyone. Morgana wants you to go to Kumura's palace. Is that true, Fataba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we should all go in after him. The palace is most likely at the corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little bit more. All right, let's do it. We gotta look into those metal shutdown things too. I prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we'll go tomorrow. Don't forget everyone. I'll and I think this is probably a good place to stop right now. Um, I actually, this might be the last part for a while because I might have to go back and replay some parts, make sure that I get the extended part unlocked on time because I have feeling I might have screwed up somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully not, but fingers crossed. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think, who should I raid? Probably Ruby. Probably should. So, um, so yeah, you know what? That's who I'm probably going to raid. Yeah. Thank you all for coming in and for watching my VODs and everything, because I've actually been starting to do well on YouTube a little bit. Starting to make some movements, so that kind of thing, with um, some of my shorts. So check those out if you haven't already. Thank you guys for coming in. Hopefully we'll see the next part soon. I gotta confirm, and then I might have to step back a little bit, try to figure out what to do from here, and so I don't have to go back too far. But yeah, thank you guys for coming in. Uh, we're gonna raid Ruby. Matt... Ruby Mad Hatter. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later.